testimony begins in a high-profile Erie County murder case. We're learning more about what led up to the fateful trip on the lake that turned deadly. Jackie Roberts sat in on that testimony today. She joins us now from the control room with the latest. Jackie. Jill and Sean, we've known for months that Christopher LeClaire is charged with killing his wife, Karen, and throwing her body overboard. But today we're learning what the defense has to say about it. Now making the case that Karen wasn't murdered, instead she committed suicide. Opening statements began Tuesday morning for the homicide trial of 49-year-old Christopher LeClaire. Investigators say the defendant and his wife, Karen LeClaire, took their commercial fishing boat onto Lake Erie on June 10th of 2017. Prosecutors saying he shot his wife in the head, tied her to an anchor, and then threw her into the water. Her body surfaced on the shores of Dunkirk, New York, on July 4th of 2017. Now prosecutors are addressing the question of motive. Assistant District District Attorney Paul Sellers explaining during opening statements, quote, Mr. LeClaire will lie about anything to anyone at any time to get what he wants. Prosecutors say LeClaire was living a double life, and his girlfriend gave him a deadline to decide which woman he would commit to. That deadline, the weekend he allegedly pulled the trigger. But the defense says that story is all wrong. LeClaire's lawyer says his wife was aware of the affair, and it deeply affected her. Defense Attorney Bruce Sandmeyer saying in court, quote, she committed suicide while she was out on the Doris M. That is what we believe the evidence will show. The defense claiming Christopher panicked and tried to conceal the fact that Karen took her own life. The jury hearing from the first witnesses, officials with the Pennsylvania State Police and the Coast Guard. But the prosecution warns them parts of this story just don't add up. The jury also watched a video recording of statements LeClaire made to authorities. In that recording, he changes his story multiple times when it comes to when he last saw his girlfriend. In that recording, we also see him deleting texts and contacts from his phone after authorities told him that they would be confiscating it. And testimony is expected to pick back up again tomorrow morning. Jill. Okay, Jackie Roberts, thank you.